Today we're going to talk about sleeping bag safety. I recently took in a rescue and in going through their products, it brought to my attention some things we need to talk about. First off, I'm going to post a picture of the before picture of the sleeping bag. Before you wash your sleeping bags, you always want to clean them. So looking at the picture, you can see how messy it was. And I just took a simple brush and scraped it off. So you can get all the loose shavings, loose quills, anything like that. So I've, I did the inside and outside. And you can tell in the picture that uh, the inside was the dirtiest. So I've cleaned it off the best I could. You can still see some more, um, looks like self anointing material, a few spines, little things like that. But for the most part, it's pretty clean. When you wash your sleeping bags, put them in a lingerie bag and your toys and things like that. That'll help keep them from beating around in the washing machine and help them stay clean and, and safe. A couple other things I wanna point out. This is an example of our bonding bag liner, the open bag liner that was used as a sleeping bag. Very, very dangerous. As a matter of fact, the hedgehog that we took in did have um, some, some bedding, um, a loose thread wrapped around one of its toenails and it did lose a portion of its toe. So this is a big no-no. Do not use these liners, as you can see, they fray. Um, do not use these as sleeping bags. Always inspect your sleeping bags for holes or loose threads. So this can is perfectly fine for a liner. All I would do is after I wash it, trim up these loose threads. And when you use the open, the, the bonding bag liners, the smooth side, the seam side is what you're gonna put your hedging next to. So I can tell this was used as a sleeping bag because there's self anointing goop on the outside, on the, the frayed side. So I know that the hedgehog was not monitored in the sleeping bag. Again, use your brush, rub off all the loose quills, any bedding or anything like that before you wash it. So these are all gonna go in um, lingerie bags. So there's plenty of room for them to move around. And then there's several things that you can use to clean your sleeping bags. Um, I just happen to have a, an eco detergent, unscented. So anything unscented, pet friendly is typically good. But just keep in mind the hedgehogs are gonna be enclosed in this. So you don't want anything strong scented that's gonna smell. After they come out of the washer, hang them up to dry and you should be good to go.